Welcome back. It's day eight. Today we awaken the animal body. And what do I mean by that? Well, I mean that usually clouding our intuition is the narrative of our mental space. And part of the work of yoga is to quiet that mental narrative enough so that we can move into our deeper inner knowing. And the body stores a lot of that internal wisdom if we can only just sort of silence the mind. So we'll start in a seated position. Get aware of where your spine is. Get aware of your breathing. Invite your breath to be very full, filling up, taking space. Exhaling completely at the very bottom, engaging the abdominal wall, even lifting up between the sits bones. Next inhale, breathe to the side ribs, expand outward. Exhaling completely. At the very bottom, squeeze at the per perineum, so right between the genitals and the anus. Let there be some tone there. As you return back to the inhale, breathing to back ribs, let them expand. Exhale all the way to empty. Continue this very full, complete breathing as you bring prayer hands into your heart. We'll bow the chin just to set an intention to move as though we enjoy movement, as though we enjoy living in this body, moving in a way that shows we care for ourselves. Make that yours. and then lift the head. We're gonna climb right onto all fours. Spread your fingers, push the ground away like your cat stretches. Round the spine, tuck the uh, tail. And move into puppy. Reach the arms forward, chest comes down. A big stretch. Come back up again, empty in cat shape. Find puppy, reach the arms forward, chest down. Hands on your shoulders, one last cat. Rounding. Move into puppy, pause, stretch forward. Come back to all fours, and now we'll just kind of wag the tail left and right. Start to make snake-like motions. Anything goes, rules out the window, move the spine around. Bring the head into the picture as well. Both directions. Pause for cow, gaze up, sitting bones high. Come on into neutral spine, firm up the abdomen, send your heart forward, and then down. Snake out for cobra. And we'll stay nice and low as we look over the left shoulder and the right shoulder and the left and the right. Lift up really high, hard hop. 
exhale, child's pose. Spread your fingers, find downward facing dog. Bend into each knee. Sweep the right leg out behind. Open that hip, bend the knee, make movement up there, big circles. On an exhale, knee taps, left triceps, so cross the body, get empty. Sweep right leg behind. This time knee taps outer right tricep and the foot lands outside the hand. Reach the legs away from each other, and we'll come on into lizard, placing left elbow down, then right elbow down. Keep your heart relatively light. Find a focal point under your eyes, and breathe. Climb onto hands, walk them over to the left so you can set both heels down and bend over into this left knee, point the right toes up. Bend over into the right knee, point the left toes up. Stay in motion, really feeling around. And pivot over to frame your right foot and set the back knee down. I'm going to take right hand to that knee so you can reach the left arm forward. Use all that length for a twist. Hook your elbow outside this right thigh. Prayer hands together. Stay long in the spine as you look behind. Slow breath and a firm belly. Big inhale, get big arms and make a peaceful shape. So left hand travels down the back leg, right arm reaches up. Big breathing. On an exhale, right hand rolls forward and you'll create your half moon. Shifting onto right foot, right fingers, hover left leg parallel. Open through your hips, left arm lifts high. Make long lines. Gazing upward if possible. Let's take a slow step back. We'll make a triangle. So left foot lands, oh, three, four feet behind the right. Straighten the right leg. Let these fingers crawl up to place as low as ankle or even floor. Stay long in your spine. Open through the heart as you gaze up. Slow, rhythmic breath. Take a full inhalation. Exhale, reach left arm across your ear. And then gaze down, roll down. If you can reach, left fingers outside this right foot. You can suction the right foot in enough to square your hips. If this isn't working, block under the left fingers is nice. Right hip shoots back, heart forward, and right arm up. 
breathe. Giant breath in. And then exhale, roll your hands down, frame the foot. I'm gonna invite you through a chin stand, if you know it, so you won't move that left foot. You'll sweep the right leg high. If you know chin stand, go ahead and find that flow, otherwise I'll be talking through it. Come over or come forward, set your chin down just in front of the fingers. This could be enough for you to take a little hop switch. It might be a nice low little hop switch. It might be high. And take it at your comfort level. Send the heart forward, shoulders back, gaze up. And exhale, downward facing dog. Pedal out. Sweep your left leg up, open that hip, bend the knee, make some movement up there. On an exhale, knee taps right tricep, really empty. Sweep behind. Knee to left tricep. Now place the foot outside your hand. Reach the legs away from each other. You'll make your way to lizard. Right elbow down, left elbow down. Heart is light, neck is neutral. Let's breathe. Energetic through your back leg. Climbing on the hands. Walk them over to the right and you'll parallel the feet. You'll bend over by this right knee, this time bringing arms into the picture so you can spread them wide. You might not even set fingers down as you move over to this left foot. Stay in motion side to side, exploring. Time you're headed to the left, head all the way over, pivot, frame the foot, set the back knee down. Left hand to your knee, reach the right arm forward, use that length to twist, hook the elbow, hands to heart, look behind. Belly keeps lifting, stay long in your spine. Empty out. Big inhale, big arms get you to a peaceful shape. Right hand slides, the left arm lifts. Breathe to wide open lungs. And then slide left hand forward. You'll balance on left foot, left fingers, create your half moon, open hips, right arm lifts, long lines, exhale. 
active everywhere. Keep distributing the awareness. Feel all parts of the body at the same time, if possible. slowly stepping into triangle right foot lands straighten the left leg stay wide open across chest and hips as you find where this left hand should go no medals for going super low stay long in the spine gaze as high if possible And a breath in. And exhale, right arm will cross your ear line. Look down. Right fingers land outside the foot if that's possible, or maybe on a block. Suction the whole left leg in until hips are square. Left hip shoots back, heart shoots forward. Left arm to the sky in revolved triangle. empty, get full, and then look down, hands plant, option for chin stand, so right foot stays, left leg sweeps up high, elbows stay in close to your side ribs, the elbows will ultimately point back as you send your chin just forward of your fingers. This could feel like enough, or a little hop and a switch, if you want to get a little more hang time, go ahead. And clear it out through vinyasa. Downward facing, connect to breath. Walk your hands all the way to the back of the mat, finding forward fold. Look forward, you're gonna soften your knees and step just the right leg through to sit all the way down. So fold down the length of your right leg. Those of you who want it could wrap the left arm around this leg, squeeze it in, or even reach behind for the bind folding. Come all the way up, send the left hand back, right arm to the sky. You're gonna find a twist, hooking this elbow outside, pull the knee in, sit tall. Now it's plenty to stay here and work on the twist. If you'd like to though, you have the option to find a balance on your hands. So it'd look like this. Walk your hands to the side, shoulders distance apart. Come high on the left tippy toes, squeeze left heel to your seat. If you want to, extend the right leg out to the side as well for five, Four, three, two, one. Sit it right back down. Reach up. You're gonna plant hands. Step the right foot to meet the left foot. It's not easy. Long spine. Take a fold. Now soften both knees. Step just the left leg through. Sit all the way down. 
fold down the left leg. If you want to, wrap this right knee in close or even find the bind with it. Marichyasana. all the way up right hand back behind left arm reaches up take this twist hook the elbow pull the knee in you can stay with twist or turn it into arm balance planting hands lift the seat and lift both heels for five four three two one set it all the way down then left foot will match the right long spine take a fold and you'll make your way into final seat any way you wish to here's a fun little way back is reach the hands back tip weight into fingertips and then send the legs forward we've made our way to final relaxation so you might take this opportunity to just do more yoga you're nice and warm now otherwise if this is what you set out to do it is plenty it is wonderful and I will see you next time. But let's sneak our Shavasana in. Please, of course, feel free to stay much longer in your Shavasana. But if you are keeping time with us today, you can climb up to a final seat. So glad you're here. Yogi, do stay in touch. Remember, I'm over at leahbutleryoga.com. I have weekly hour-long classes. You can also find me on Instagram. Be well. <laughs>